Hey guys, coming at you live from a storage room inside a storage room on a set that looks like your dad's basement. It's Don't Mess with Christine Sidelko on CastBox, produced alongside Studio 71. If you haven't heard of CastBox, it is one of the fastest growing new podcast apps on the market. It's available for iOS and Android. And you can listen to Don't Mess uh, on your other podcast platforms, but I hope that you give CastBox a try. I think it's a really great app. You can find all of your favorite podcasts on there, including, hopefully, mine. I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello, guys. Welcome back. I am Christine Sedelko. Uh, before we get started here, um, I've decided to rearrange the format a little bit uh, of my uh, little podcast adventure here uh, learned the hard way <laughs> that when you put on an hour long show, you might want to have a little bit of structure. Um, that being said, the episodes are now going to be an interview section in the beginning, followed by topical topics, which we will discuss and comment on and speak about and opinionize with. Prepositions are hard. Um, That being said, who better to have on my new and improved podcast but a man who recently knew and improved himself. I knew it was coming. Christopher Clemens. Hello. Thank you, two of you. They don't get paid to clap. What can I say? Um, I can if tell. You, you, you can tell. You can really it, tell. There's it, the lack of uh, motivation. You're like, honey, it shows. Yeah. Honey, the... The budget shows. The budget is... What it is. <laughs> we keep the receipts in the shoebox. Shoe I do that, too. <laughs> I literally do. I just send them to my dad. Well, my dad left, so well, thank you. Well, we'll talk about that later, <laughs> folks. Um, anyway, if you guys don't know Chris Clements, he is... A YouTuber of like five plus years, right? Yeah. Um, 2012, yeah. That's, wait, six. Because it's 2018. Yeah. I started at the very end. So minus 2012 is six. Yeah. And 2012 plus six is 2018. And this is your eighth episode. And 2018 minus six is 2012. Mm. I. I'm went to college. Um, <laughs> anyway, <Barely. laughs> and, and his videos are comedy vlogs as well as man on the street videos, which is one of my personal favorites. Uh, another personal favorite is your I Got High And series because I <laughs> often find myself getting high and. Yeah, um, same. <laughs> and you're also, he also... You know this already. They don't. <laughs> um, is a freelance photographer and actually went to school to study photography. Yeah. And that is my talented friend, Chris. Oh. Welcome. Thank you. How are you? <sighs> Anxious and a little bit high. Did I drive too fast over here? No, I almost hit you a few times. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> which he, is nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah, so um, he followed me here to the studio and I tried to shake him and I couldn't. No. Nope. Can't shake me, baby. Ran up the curb, even. <laughs> Hit a few people. Hit a few pedestrians, but hey, you know. Full GTA mode. Uh, full uh, Fifty Shades of Grey freed. Oh, gr- <laughs> which suddenly turned into a Bond movie. Anyway, yeah, uh, that's a new YouTube video out on my channel, and you should go watch yeah, it. Yeah, Christine and I started Fifty Shades of Grey one day because we why not, you yeah, know? Why and we not? started with a third one because truly. Why not? Why not? And then Rita Ora was tied up. <laughs> tied up, up yeah. In an abandoned lot. That and was the biggest twist of it all. Yeah. Well, speaking of twisters, titty twisters, you get them when you're young. You grew up where? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it all fits. It's all cyclical. Right. Um, I'm from Delaware, and sp- I gave my cousin a titty twister once, and she's a girl. <laughs> I didn't know better. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I don't know why I shared that. This isn't fact, confession so. time. It's just was just a simple question. Yes, from Delaware. The state is acceptable. Delaware is good. Delaware, what town? 
Newark. New York, Delaware. You heard yes. it here, folks. Two states in one. <laughs> the Big Apple. Um, and what was that like? I know it's the smallest um, state. I always struggle explaining what Delaware is like. I feel like it's very much like L.A. minus palm trees. Like if L.A. was like a – it's a suburb, I guess. The whole state. The Yeah. Down south, it gets like – there's like beaches, which are like – convenient in the summer they're not like aruba or whatever but they're like nice we <laughs> were there went, yeah i went there every summer and then the middle is just kind of like farms mm-hmm. there's you're really well what part were you in? the northern part so like so what, what was up north like schools and families well and like that's everywhere the university of delaware is that like I, <laughs> people oh, yeah and places and, and things and yes <laughs> kitchen sinks yes i don't really yeah it's i guess just suburban okay yeah And so, well, so, like, say, because I'm from Illinois, yeah, which is not a very wide state. Well, it's kind of wide, but it's more long long than it is wide. But I fortunately never had to venture down too far south. Um, But what, like, how long does it take to just go across? Oh, top to bottom. Oh, across? Like, I have no, I don't know. (laughs) But okay, It's narrow at the top and then thick at the bottom. Actually, I don't even know what Delaware looks like. Really? But anyway, yeah, so tell me, like, what? So... It takes from like the, so we had a beach house at the, so the beaches are at the south end of the state. So to go from like top to bottom, it only took like an hour and a half if there wasn't traffic. I somehow got to hotel rooms in Delaware. Ooh. Let's book a flight. What do you have planned, honey? (laughs) That, oh, wow. Um, That is not how I remember it looking in fourth grade. It's tax free though, which is. I thought it was like a, why did I think it was a rectangle? No. It, Wait, tax free? Yeah. So like go to the mall. So like my whole life I grew up not having tax on anything. So everything was just the price you saw. And then I went to school in New York and that was like the first time I lived outside and I was like uh it's I have this I could tell you exactly where I was. I have it so visually. I felt so sad. <laughs> and she, I was like uh the price tag said it was like 3.99 or whatever and the lady was like yeah and then tax and I was like what what it like i just didn't know that that was a thing yeah so yeah that's that's funny because the state i grew up in people are literally fleeing yeah <laughs> the state because they're of taxes. coming to delaware <laughs> yeah they're like hello and we're like hello. hello here anyway after that noise um so you grew up a little small town did just grow up little baby physically. boy and little baby state and little baby teeth <laughs> do you did your parents keep your baby teeth I think my mom might have. I I definitely walked into her room and found them. I found mine in, um, I think, like the attic, and it was very traumatic. Yeah. My mom's were in a matchbox on her dresser or something. I don't don't know, but I thought I was literally opening matches, and literal teeth fell out. And I was like, Mom! And she was like, Honey, what's... And she came up, and she was like, Oh. And I was like, What the fuck is this? She's like, Oh, these are your baby teeth. And I was like... Why do you have the like? Why I know like why just let them go? Keep the but stuff? then I guess I have. Okay, I did keep my dog's baby teeth. <laughs> that is that's weirder weird. than a human. Yep, it's pretty weird. So okay. you have no room to talk. So it's hereditary. Um. Wow. Moving on. <laughs> um. So like. So you said New York was your culture shock. Yeah. What took you to New York? I, I went to know. school. Yeah, you're just such saying. a good host. I'm just trying to be <laughs> <laughs> trying to be the hostess with the Moses. Um, I went to school at NYU, so so, but NYU Tisch Tisch yeah is the Tisch, art school, which I always thought Tisch was like a a separate thing. It is it the college? Yeah, so like of, within the university air quotes, there are colleges. So there was like the College of Arts and Science. Uh, Tisch, Stern Business School. So there were like sub schools under NYU. Oh, you if, know what? I think my it's so stupid. No, I think my school I think had it's that, common, and though. I just did, and I just didn't pay attention because I never went to class. <laughs> yeah, same. Yeah, I it would have been interesting us being friends in college. Yeah, I feel like we had kind of similar experience because I went to school downtown Chicago, and you went downtown in New, York. New York. Yeah, and although Chicago is. Definitely milder than New York, to put it lightly. Yeah. 
my yeah. I also had a very big culture shock the first time I went. Yeah. Um. Also, I think I, I know I've said this to you in person, Uh-oh. like person, like personal conversations. But now I want it on record Ooh. that I hate New York. Oh, I yeah, don't you have like said it. this. I don't. I I can I understand that, why people like it, but I understand why people mythical, don't. You know, aspect of it. It's dirty. It's overpopulated. It is crowded. People as- are mean. People are crazy. It's <laughs> disgusting. Your trash is just on the streets. There's rats everywhere. It's disgusting. <laughs> New York. And it gets so hot and muggy in the, the summer. Summers and in the re- winter. Yeah. And it's just, all, it's just, I hate it. It's a, it's definitely a lot. It is a lot. For sure. Are you the one, like, because I really, there are two types of people. It's people that can handle living I, in New York and people that I can't. I loved living in New York. Yeah, I definitely was... am excited that I'm, like, just have a change of pace and whatnot. But just, the, the, the it sounds so dumb, but I don't think you can understand it until you've lived there. The energy just, like, I was able to do, so, I had so much life in New York. <laughs> like, I really did, like... I would wake up and have my whole day, like, planned, and I would, like, know what I was doing. And there's just the people you meet and the experiences are so, like, un- it's just unreal. You're, like, it's a, ugh. It's just, it's, like, yeah, it's, like, it's cra- it is crazy. It's, yeah, it's almost but, like but every day is normal. a challenge, but it's, like, it's, yeah, it's, like, a normal that, ki- it's, like, a stimulating normal. Yeah, so what would you guys do for fun, you know? Well, I mean, I went to bars. So. Yeah, we would go to like bars, clubs, not so much. No, me everybody. Neither. Freshman year, did people like hype up clubs and like going clubbing? Not really. Because uh, freshman year, everybody like that seemed like to be such the thing. Was everyone like all my friends <clears throat> didn't have like fakes and like who went to like state schools? They all had, like frat parties and shit. And we were all like going to clubs and bars, but so clubbing, yeah. Um, I think it might have just been because there's not a, a huge club scene Got in it. Chicago. Got it. Uh, it's a it's a it's a dive bar city. Yeah, which but I, I like love. that. Yeah, see, I love that. Yeah, it, and like a lot of bars in the East Village where I lived for a while, which is like around NYU, were like so divey, and it was. That to me is like the smell of like a damp, sticky, floored bar. Actually, Holy yeah, shit. I do like the nightlife there. We would go to well, the two times I've been there. We go to to bars, you know, on that the streets that you have to walk down yeah. into them, and they were fun and like dirty and like yeah. weird and like it was back in the Vine days and like someone recognized me and like paid my tab and I was like, <laughs> oh, okay, this yeah, so New York bad. is just like fun like that people will just randomly do shit like that like pay for your tab and stuff like, I, yeah i think maybe you just have to have like an open mind and i'd come in and very i think you negative. have to be there for a while because at first it's like magical then it gets like sad yeah and then you get like comfortable at least for me that's how i felt yeah i don't know like i loved it then wanted to leave and then stayed obviously well, and then loved it the interesting thing about you is like I don't. I don't know how you feel actually, because we don't really talk about this. Do you, like, do you feel more like a New Yorker or like a Californian? Because I yeah, we have talked we, about this a little. Well, a little, but like before you get into your thing, to me, I watch old videos of you in New York, and I get it. And you are you are in New York, but you're also very LA, and I think yeah. it really suits you here. But I also can picture you. Do you think I'm there. less New York now? Yes. Fuck. But I don't okay. think that's a bad thing. Okay. No, I don't either. So what's I your definitely take? it it's so weird because when I want when I was like thinking of moving to LA, I like hated it, the idea of living in LA. Like I was like New York forever. And then I got here and I was like pleasantly surprised at just I realized that the pace in New York is so unhealthy. It's just like unnecessarily stressful. And I was, it took me literally leaving to realize that I was so stressed out all the time for nothing. Like, why is the subway not here? Like, ugh. And I do kind of miss that pace because it, it, I mean, it does pull you through the day. Like, you just, you don't ever, but like, yeah, you don't ever feel like you can relax really. Yeah, because you see, I mean, you you see other people. Exactly. And you're like, oh, I I need to be out there. Exactly. So, I feel like I'm like somewhere in the middle. I, I would I'm a agree. flyover state. I would agree. Yeah, <laughs> I'm an no, Illinoisian. What People is really that? People really do say Illinois. Illi- the, 
Yeah. But like, why is there an S then? How do you feel about that? Um, I just grew up there, so it's normal. I think it's um, it's after the Illini tribe of Indians that were oh. located yeah. after, you know, white people did okay, their thing. Okay, so I'm yeah. just insensitive and ignorant. Got it. Thank uh, you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you are the worst, and I hate you. Um, okay, really quick, let's just talk about YouTube. Okay. Because you mentioned in New York you had your day, you know, scheduled out, planned out, planned out. Yeah. To me, as someone who is very unorganized, <laughs> you you are, like, insane. Yeah. You are on top. Like, you post <laughs> every week at the same time. I try to. And you, and you, and it gets done. Yeah. You do it. That, and, I th- and you edit yourself. Yeah. I do it all <laughs> and you're always getting coffee yeah and you're always filming and <laughs> you just do stuff and i'm just like how do you do stuff you know i i really think that that came from new york yeah true like I, i've always kind of been somebody who was like nothing's gonna get done for you unless you do it like that was just kind of always my mindset so i've always just if i wanted something bad enough i worked hard enough for it and so I just, that's kind of, like, I f- feel like if I don't post, that's, like, how can I want these nice things and right. stuff if I don't want to, like, I don't enjoy editing sometimes because I, I mean, like, I, yeah, I, I mean, don't, yeah. some people, but I, after doing it for so long and it's of me and it's so repetitive, it, but it's, it needs, sometimes life isn't glamorous. Like, sometimes you do, do have to just sit down and, like, do shit to... You know, yeah. so I, I, I don't know. I've just always had that kind of like a work ethic, I guess. Yeah. Well, my problem is not only do I not work hard enough, I don't want things enough. I'm yeah. just so apathetic. And it's like, oh, it'd be nice to have this. But like also uh, if it didn't happen, I, at least I don't have to do all the work. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, I don't know. But I think that came probably from New York, too. But um, anyway, I'm just jealous of how. You do you, boo. You, well, you're making moves. You do the voodoo that you, you do, do so, so well. Good. It's a spell hell. It makes me want to shoop, shoop, shoop. Uh, uh, do I have to pay for that? The I hope not that? because that's a gift. It's the internet. A gift? It's a gift. A gift. No. Uh, okay, anyway, speaking <laughs> about your upload schedule, what, so you do basically vlogs and Man on the Street. Yeah, I kind of just have resorted to doing whatever. Yeah, which do you like better? I... That, uh, I like filming man on the street ones because it's like, I have it down to such a routine. Mm -hmm. And then I like editing just like the random videos. Like I did a prank call video today and it was just like fun to edit because I don't, I don't know. Yeah. But yeah. Did I answer the question? Um, I think I forgot. (laughs) I blacked out a little bit. I Um, did too. (laughs) Well, I've done some of the man on the street ones with you. Yeah. And it's hard. Do you like it? Uh, I do. I end up liking it at the end. Everybody and it takes does. a while for me to warm up to it, even though I've done it multiple times. Yeah. It's just weird and you just do it. You just jump right in. You, yeah. You never see these people again. And if you do, it's kind of like, huh. Oh, yeah. You no, know, I admire that because like the footage you don't show is literally you going, like, hey, you want me to be a quick video? And I'm like, I can't even, like, call my doctor to like I had to like talk myself up to call my doctor it used to be really hard for me to be like hey do you want to be in a like now I mean I just I have such little shame yeah that it's almost a problem well I don't think it's a problem thank you you're valid um wait (laughs) Uh no you're valid oh my god you think um I don't know I think that like well I think you're valid for thinking I'm valid I think your validity is just shining (sighs) through oh my know? god you think is is she showing that much so that was a a, <laughs> a good little improv section there that i was trying to use to waste time <laughs> to think of something else to say but my brain could only concentrate on seeing <laughs> a new way to say joke. valid <laughs> that it really just went on and this on. is why we're friends <laughs> yeah 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 um well who what when what and where vi- and why what, <laughs> what videos get the most views for you and do you care i don't necessarily care about views because like i don't but i care about something appearing to have done well yeah if that makes sense. like 
have like I guess that's the same, but to me, I they feel different. If like views feel so, like wanting views feels so sh- like shallow and almost empty. But like I just want you want people, people to, to see say- what I just fucking edit it <laughs> like oh just like so you, you feel know, like that it's yeah, worth like, it yeah like i feel like it's and time. i also think it's funny and i i think other people would too so yeah i guess this is all just one egotistical thing i the man on the street videos do better yeah i think because well, i think it's just kind of what i'm known for yeah that logan Paul you could say one. it's yeah you could say it's my bread and butter why did I feel like i should have said that a second time wait, when i got I, cut off the first time wait did that have a second meaning or was it my bread and butter. You said it like it was like really clever. Oh, no. I yeah no. If you oh, say okay. anything with enough confidence, you can really just <laughs> well, go I anywhere. Well, like a <laughs> sneaky double on palm, No, as the French say. Um, it was beautiful. <laughs> well, I learned something new about you oh. in my countless hours of research. That you definitely that I did. I <laughs> personally did. Um, that you had a photo published in U.S. Weekly. I did. What? Take me through that. <laughs> Okay, it's not that this was I okay, so that information is back when you would really make a resume look just like it wasn't necessarily the biggest photo, it was probably the size of a quarter, but it was still printed in the magazine. So yeah, I worked for Low Bosworth from the Hills. Oh my god. Yeah, and you'll so, always be known as the girl, girl who never who went to never Paris. went to Paris. <laughs> But I worked as her photographer because she had like a she has a blog, and so I was her photographer, and they just like wanted to use one of the pictures, and so that's cool. Yeah, it was like that. Like that was New York. I was like some dumb like sophomore junior. You're like a paparazzi. Yeah, and I was just no. We I, like we would meet and like have lunches and discuss shoot ideas and like and like then you just like the shit like that just happens. So that's yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Wow. I forgot about that. Well, on that awesome note, oh, wait, did you get paid for that? I got paid for, like, the shoot. But not from, from US, US Weekly? Yeah, which I wait, was kind of pissed about. Is it, it's Us Weekly. Did I say US yeah, Weekly? Yeah, you did, and I was like... So, I thought it was US, like, US Weekly News World Report or whatever. You thought that they're thought covering like, real news? I thought it news? was, like, a real news thing, and then you were, like, low Bosworth, and I'm like, oh... Different magazine. It's, yeah, no, it's Us magazine. Yeah, got it, got it, yep. got it. See the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. U.S. and the Us. It's all very it's all, complicated. Yeah. Uh, on that note, we're going to take a quick break. Um, and when we get back, we will get into topical topics. Ooh. Hey, guys. Taking a quick time out here, just in case you forgot, you are listening to Don't Mess with Christine Sadelko, a CastBox original produced alongside Studio 71. Right now, I'm going to ask everyone listening to go rate and review this podcast on whatever platform you are listening to it on, hopefully CastBox. And of course, if you leave less than a five-star review, I will come to your house and kill you. Just give me five stars anyway. It's not going to hurt you. I don't like criticism. Thank you. Um, Okay, guys, we are back. Okay, so now we're here at the new, at the turning point, if you will, um, of my podcast. And if this doesn't go well, I'll probably just fucking quit. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's the spirit. Uh, so I decided um, we're going to, I'm going to give a little topic. Ooh. And we're going to discuss, like, humans. Humans, yep. Um, so recently, I think it was literally yesterday of the day that we're filming this, um, Kim Kardashian went to the White House. Yeah, to meet with and Trump. And met with Donald Trump. What a sentence. To talk about prison sentences for for weed, people convicted of weed f- No, crimes, I just right? I think it's just prison reform and like one time like first time nonviolent offense, which includes weed. Yeah, weed is a part of that, I think. That's what I took it as. <laughs> she got I know she got caught, not Kim, Alice Johnson, who she's, like, going to bat for. Mm -hmm. She got caught with cocaine possession and something else. But for a first-time nonviolent offense, she has a life sentence. That's insane. Yeah, that is insane. Like, it's, like, weed is a plant. (laughs) Wait, I thought it was cocaine. Yeah, but, like, some people do go to prison for having weed. For life? 
Uh, I well, I, let's not get into that. Regardless, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, um, if it's coke, I don't really know what to say because yeah, I've I don't never really know what to say but, either. Uh, I have done weed. <laughs> anyway, the reason I picked this topic was because I know that you love marijuana. I do, and I know that you love the Kardashians. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um. So what? So what do you? What are your take? What is your take on the legalization of marijuana, just in general? I don't understand why it hasn't happened sooner. Yeah. I mean, like I do, but I don't. Yeah. You know, like I understand the hesitation because I once was so anti weed. And but why were we? Why were we? Because I because they because people just told us it was bad. People, a mix of people telling you it was bad and a mix of at least for me, the people that at the time that I knew who were smoking weed, I didn't want to be associated with. So for me, I associ- I thought it was like bad people do that. And yeah. then I smoked and was like, oh shit, I've yeah. been missing out. So it really is people lying to yeah, us. Yeah, it's kind of just a skewed perception of what people tell you to think when you're younger. Yeah, because cigarettes and alcohol, I know this is the most common argument, are, it, but, but it's are true. so much more dangerous. Equal, if not worse. Yeah. yeah. Like as someone who heavily drank in college, Weed is weed to me feels so much healthier. It does. It's green. It's crazy. Or like hemp and, and people shit. are like, how do you? How can you say that you're smoking? And I'm like, I mean, I live in Los Angeles. I'm breathing in smoke regardless. Oh my God. So I might as well feel good from it. When you moved here, did you have lung problems? I mean, yeah, but I think it was I, from the marijuana. <laughs> I literally got bronchitis because of the smog. Because of the smog when I first moved here. Interesting. Yeah. I don't think I noticed any. Maybe I was well, getting I guess sick. From being from New York, you're probably already infected. Yeah, I was. Yeah, <laughs> I was just already. I am legend. <laughs> That's the one where they all. Did my laugh just do something weird? Um, or did only I hear that? Did I heard something? But I kind of sounded like a weird horse whinny. Do it again. No, I, I. You're like I can't. I can't. It was like one of those weird, like your vocal cord is like stuck or something, so a weird whistle comes out when you're like breathing. It's like when you move the chair and it like makes a fart noise, yeah. and then you can't recreate it, and you're, and like, you're like, God damn it. Yeah. Anyway, we talk about real relatable <laughs> shit. <here. laughs> Literally, sometimes. Um. Yeah. Well, we have something in common, and that is that. We are huge potheads, yeah. <laughs> but no little to nothing about I, weed. Yeah, I tweeted yesterday, maybe, and I was like, "There, you know that unpopular opinion trend that's going all over Twitter right now." One, mm-hmm. someone did one about weed, and I was like, "If you have to use a rig to smoke it, it's too much." Like, oh, like dab? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Like, if you have to use something called a rig, what the fuck is yeah, that? Yeah, I don't like. Like the dab only time like, I've heard of a rig is like an eighteen wheeler going down. Like, I what? Yeah, where you have to like you have to like like move it around. You have to like audition for lid. Breaking Bad. Yeah, and it's like what the fuck? It's like you're playing like the the glass water, <laughs> like glasses filled it with water. Yeah, it's like, mm-hmm. it's like all that just to. I mean, I guess it's like stronger, more potent, but like. Out, I'll just I'll smoke a second joint. Like. Yeah, I, it's just really there's so much. And going to dispensaries is so fucking embarrassing sometimes because well, they're so like, much... "Do you want chatter?" And I'm like, oh, "Excuse me." Well, and there's so much like terminology yeah. too. It's like, "Oh, it's canoeing, bro." And like... then you feel like such like a loser when you don't know it or like a fake. Or if I hear someone say it, I like use context clues to figure out what it means yeah. and then like store it away and I'm like, I'll sound like a yes. stoner, I'll use it next time. There's nothing better than situations where you have no idea what's going on, but like the answer the questions are answered for you and then like that's oh I'm a big fan of things being done for me. Yeah. Oh well du- and yeah. you end up being the person to do them all <laughs> half the time. Oh, I'm aware. <laughs> You're like, I'm like, oh, will you go to the car and get it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 um, yeah, we, I love weed so much I smoke it, or I smoked it two minutes ago it, before this break. Like, all jokes aside, though, it, I feel like it helps me so much with, A, falling asleep, at like, when I, <laughs> for bedtime, obviously, mm-hmm. and my anxiety. You should have said, A, anxiety, B, bed. Oh. If you were a real missed opportunity. Half even half as intelligent as I it. know, one day, <laughs> fingers crossed. Anyway, continue with your thing. Oh, I say I just like a lot of times I'll smoke it to like calm me down or like to stop me from overthinking. Yeah, and 
you do that a lot. No offense. No, full offense. You it's know, just like a fact. But like, yeah, I sometimes feel like you kind of get these scenarios in your head and I kind of have to like get you to like rewind a little sometimes. I have therapy later this week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, got it. (laughs) Well, and it's like me where it's like I'm really negative. Yeah. And it takes a a little bit for me to pull out of that. Exactly. And then you're like similar but not quite the same where you... We both pull each other up in areas where we're like where we need it. (laughs) You raise me up so I can stand on mountains, basically. Bas- you know? Basically, that song was written about us. It definitely was. Also, Beep by the Pussycat Dolls. Also written about us, yes. Ha, 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 ha. I love that song. All the weird laughing. I forgot about that song. Yeah, I think it's Will I Am. Yeah, she's like, ha, she's like, ha, 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 ha. Oh, wait, yeah. How does it go where he's like, oh, wait. Can I get copywritten for how well I did that? For how well? That was, I'm like, pentatonics who? I'm glad you said that, though, because it stopped me from trying to rap the entire thing. Yeah, no, that's why I said that. Um, Yeah, so, yeah, for me, weed is more often just fun. Oh, well, yeah, for sure. Um, But I do have some anxiety. Yeah. But it's situational and it's not that bad. Totally. Um, And it does help me in those situations. Like, before a flight, I have to smoke before a flight because I get kind of anxious. Yeah. Um, and it's also just so much more fun to be on a flight high. Yeah, it goes by so much faster. So much faster. Yeah. Mostly because you sleep for a majority of it. Well, I take that dream Sleepy water. water, yeah. It's like snoozeberry, and yeah. you can buy it. Like a, oh, my God. That was that has been a saving grace. I take two of them, and, I, and I'm probably snoring How so loud. How do I get sponsored just, by them? Dude, I wish. It's basically the opposite of five-hour energy. <laughs> it like, is. It's, it's just been like the melatonin. same bottle. Yeah, it does. It's literally like the same thing, just different. What if it's the same company? I mean, what if you took a five-hour energy and a dream water at the same time? Would you die? Let's let's go to the airport. Let's go to LAX right now. Pick one up. (laughs) Let's do it. Let's do it. (laughs) Can you only get those at LAX? You think? Well, I've only ever seen them at airports, but I guess they might be on like convenience stores. But I don't really go. I get all my groceries online. I know go shopping, so I wouldn't know. Um, Nice. Yeah. I've noticed you get all your groceries online. So, oh, you know what might be fun? Ooh. Let's try to um, improv a little bit of what that meeting with Kim and uh, Trump was like. Okay. Who are who you going to be? Who do you want to play? Oh? Well, I think this should depend on who can do a better Donald Trump impression. I honestly don't think I could tell you what he sounds like. I, I have avoided him true, truly same. for so long like i don't check twitter anymore i really have avoided him at all costs that i don't remember the sound of his voice okay let me try just from the top of my head okay i'm trying to think of like I his tr- rallies okay <laughs> that's what i yeah <laughs> uh i would go build his wall no i don't know yeah like it's, that was really bad I, oh i it's <laughs> it's better than i think <laughs> Yeah, I feel like we should just do it. I'll just be Trump and I'll just go for it and you be Kim because you know what she would okay. say. Okay. All right, ready? <clears throat> well, come in. Hey, Donald. Hey, what's up, Kim? Not much. Just here. Let's let's get down to business. Here, have a seat on my cu- on my lap. I mean, oops, my couch. Yeah, please, the couch. I don't want your lap. Ka- it's wh- frumpy. What Kanye doesn't know won't hurt him. Oh, he sends his best, by the way. He says, golf next week? Question mark? Sorry. I don't know if you know what those are. (laughs) And I'm just going to go ahead and call it right there. Yeah, and (laughs) see. Thought it would be a fun idea, but it turns out (laughs) I'm not as funny as I thought I was. And and I'm not not as funny as as I thought thought you were. Uh, 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 This is a cry for help. (laughs) Please help me. All right, well, speaking of Donald Trump and television stars <laughs> um, and going based on my shirt today, uh, Roseanne Barr. Okay, I have a lot. I'm actually glad we're talking about this because this is a conversation I we've. I don't think we've really discussed, and I have so many questions. Yeah. Wh- why? She... So, I okay, actually, I will say, after... The recent events, you tweeting, set, talking about her pro or her progressive ideas and her like LGB, like, okay, so I understand, but I thought she was this 
conservative person the whole time. Well, here's the thing. Even in the 90s, she was probably at best a left-leaning libertarian. Got it. So she was never she she was she was she had liberal views, social views, but she was she advocated for the middle class where she which is, you know, usually a Republican yeah. ideal, whatever. Um well, it's both, but like they go about it in different ways. So the thing is she was always never a conventionally a, a, a liberal or a democrat. Got it. And or a, she a democrat or a republican. Yeah. Got it. So my theory is that she literally was so far left that she just kept going left until it kind of circled around and she ended up on like the radical right. Interesting. Where it's just like she just went so crazy that it just ended up on the opposite spectrum. Gotcha. And again that is not actually my whatever but yeah, yeah she just how is how do you crazy. feel about that? It sucks because like Roseanne like meant so much to me growing up. Totally. Such a funny show. I'm from Illinois. I was set in Illinois. I knew families like that. I didn't live yeah, like that, but like me. I like some of my best friends growing up like that was like what it was like eating at their house and it was funny and it was like they were real people blah blah, blah. and it like this, there were some cheesy moments whatever, especially in the later seasons, but it was so real and it was so funny and she just didn't give a shit. She, you know, married then fired Tom Arnold, the producer, <laughs> you know, cuz she like outgrew him. Yeah. She w- probably had questionable leadership tactics but she was not gonna let anyone not tell her what like tell her what to do because she was a woman she was just gonna do it it was her show and that's awesome yeah and that was really cool to me and i i really liked that and i was so excited that they were doing a reboot a reboot and then all the stuff came out about how now she was because i hadn't really kept up with her yeah that she was crazy and was um you know tweeting for trump and tweeting all these weird things and like had dressed up as an as hitler for halloween yeah and all this stuff and i was like she did yeah 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 Oh my god! And I think I'm not sure, but I think she had like a tray of cookies that were like supposed to be. Not. Let me look it up. You have got to be kidding me. Roseanne, Nazi. Seems like a solid search image. Yeah, and so she had like gingerbread men or whatever in the oven that were supposed to be like the Jews. So like really, really not even political, just just wrong. Vile shit. Yeah. Um and it sucks. Wow. Because like I was like, wow, you know, I would love to, you know, be a showrunner, write my own show and star in it and be the boss. And you know, that'd be so cool. She was so funny. Um and it sucks that people aren't who they, you know, who you thought who you they think were? They are because it's like, yeah, it is. At the end of the day, it's fiction. Yeah. Even if she wrote some episodes or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. That's you, my take. <laughs> do you feel embarrassed? I mean, that I'm you, white, like... so I'm just constantly embarrassed. <laughs> um, yes. But yeah, I was kind of like, well. Did you get a lot of shit for liking her, or no. like, did pe- were people? Because I didn't ever defend her. True. Well, speaking of YouTubers that defended her, and. He, have you ever heard of um, Ethan Klein, H3H3? I've heard of H3H3. I don't think I've ever seen a video. So here's the thing. I've seen just like clips of some videos. Um, I followed him on Twitter because I thought he was funny and like he knew Post Malone and they would do those like funny like double chin photos. Oh, okay. And it was like, oh, cool. He looks funny. So I follow him. Gotcha. And when this whole thing came out and I he these are recently, uh, they were deleted. Ooh. Pretty Soon after he tweeted them. Gotcha. Um, but I found the screenshot. Okay. Did a little investigative reporting. <laughs> Come through, detective. Yeah, so he goes, this is his first tweet. Uh, I hate this trend of canceling shows and ruining careers because of something someone said. If it offended you, just don't watch. Okay. And I quote you that and said, like, this is a bad take or whatever. Yeah. Um, oh, which, I saw that. W- w- yeah. I, yeah. But I had to delete it because he yeah. deleted it. It looked like I was talking to myself. God damn you. <laughs> anyway. I um, hate when people delete a tweet that you've quoted. Yeah, it sucks. But um, anyway, I disagree. Yeah. I think people need to be held accountable uh, Yeah. for what they do and who they are. I just don't understand why defend it. Like, I understand... I do agree with him in the set, like in the sense that I do feel like we are in a culture of like 
like a takedown culture where we want it. But like that, I don't think has anything to do with what happened with Roseanne. You know, yeah. like I think people are taking her down because she's like she's just so over the line. Yeah, and, and like, I, don't I think, think it's, it's justified. And I think it comes down to like being like ABC, like if they keep this up, then it, it looks like it reflects their values. Exactly. And that, so they have every right to be like, hey, you no longer reflect the values of our company. Bye. But it's, it's the other way too because I, there was a story about the, I don't know what her position was, but some higher up at ABC, you know the show Blackish? Yeah. Um, they did an episode apparently that was based on or centered around like protesting, like the NFL protesting, oh. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I think I heard about and this. They, and they decided not to air it, I guess because it was too controversial or well, whatever their reasoning was. So it's like, do better, I guess, you know? I yeah. don't know. Um, so I, I think it was deserved. Um, and I do feel bad for the, All the other, other cast people. members. Yeah. Um, that to me is like this, that is a really like that's, ugh, but again, that, that's on Roseanne. That's yeah. not on ABC. You know what I mean? Cause totally. she's the one whose actions caused this. No, but that's what I'm saying is so many people like lost a paycheck just because of one person. Yeah. Like well, that sucks. And then that's not bad enough. He goes on to say, worth noting is that what she said is very offensive and probably racist, but she's a shocking person. That's her shtick. But why do we have to be vengeful? Do you think this will alter minds or make those that agree with her hate you more? I'm offended, so I'll, I will destroy you. Chill. That was a lot. That was one tweet? Yeah. Holy shit. Which again, I don't agree with. What I do you think? honestly didn't know you were reading a tweet until about halfway through. So Would you I like me to read could it you again? reread it, please? Uh, okay, he, uh, let me read it in a better way. Yeah, <laughs> please. <laughs> it's on me. Uh, worth he goes. Worth noting is that what she said is very offensive and probably racist. But she's a st- shocking person. That's her stick. But why do we have to be vengeful? Do you think this will alter minds or make those that agree with her hate you more? Quotes, I'm so offended, I will destroy you. End quote. Chill. Okay. I think just because someone is outrageous does not give them an excuse to be a bad person. Right. Like, uh, we're outrageous. But we're not yeah. bad people, yeah. you know? Like, you can be outrageous without being offensive or, like, putting other people down. Well. I can... feel like you can. Well, I can't. Oh, but it, I feel but like... But one could. But if, if someone is described as outrageous, I wouldn't necessarily mean that that's a bad thing or a negative thing. It's like, being outrageous is... He's making it sound like she's she is a racist. Why are we upset by it? Like, I... Yeah, like she, yeah. Like we're allowed, just the same way he has this opinion, we're allowed to, like people are allowed to feel how they want. Yeah. I think some people get swept up in these moments and it goes back to that like mob mentality of taking people down. I definitely think that there are people who like had no idea who she even was. Right. Well, so my for the first thing that sticks out to me is he says probably racist. Yeah. No. Like it just um, is. Try literally, definitely, <laughs> definitively. I meant to say something 100% about that. Hundred <laughs> percent. Absolutely racist. Yeah. Like. Um. I also don't think that you should be able to hide behind a shtick. You, if you're, exactly. I, you can't be. You can write characters. Totally. And I think they have a right to be offensive if you're portraying them as the the characters that are saying offensive things as bad people. Yes. But I don't think you should be allowed to, as a person in the public eye, have to hide behind a character. Yeah. I don't think you should be allowed to do that. And that's that's basically what he's saying. And then uh, why do you have to be vengeful? Do you think this will alter minds? That is just the worst argument. It is literally like... This it won't even work. So why even bother? Yeah, I hate that mentality. It's like people that are actively de- trying to distract from social change are are 
almost worse than people that are actively trying to destroy it because they don't even know that they, they're just so stupid yeah this just pissed me off if i'm gonna be honest that's i there is nothing worse and i mean i'm sure this is so hypocritical f- coming from me but i hate when i i guess people just talk for the like y- you don't need to have an opinion like just people want to have different opinions yeah and they want like i a lot of it i feel like comes from the validation of retweets and shit. It's so annoying. People are like, oh, this is, it's like making a quick buck on Twitter or something. Yeah, it's like, it, oh, it's this is flooded with all these things against it. Everyone's seen it so much. Well, if I say something against it, even if this is subconsciously, if I say something that's different from what most people are saying, it's going to get more attention. Exactly. Whether it's negative or positive or both, which a lot of times it is both because people are people, assholes and yeah. people agree with asshole statements like this yeah so yeah in a way i agree so i think i think it's just i don't and it's something about men straight men that what like why is it so hard for them to just be decent yeah you know like what i shouldn't be shocked when i meet a straight white man that's a good like that's a nice person yeah that you noticed you're like that, wow that was a nice that, encounter treats people like a human being whether they want to fuck them or not yeah and i am and i'm lucky to know a lot of them and have been surprised a lot but i'm still surprised because there's so many awful ones um anyway that's just me being a (laughs) radical (laughs) feminist here but yeah um it's all it's all in the Uh, the same realm i guess yeah anyway i think this is a good place to stop our podcast because i'm getting heated and you are probably getting to work. And you have to leave in 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, well, that too. Anyway, uh, thanks for coming on. I think this was fun. Thanks for having me. This was fun. I think it was better. Yeah. Or Not, worse. Then what? What are we? What's, I don't know. What's the comparison? Anyway, um, so uh, is there anything you want to plug that you're doing right now? or? Um, I'm writing stand-up, which is exciting. Any shows or... Um, I'm gonna do like open mics, but like secretly. Oh, okay. So yeah, nothing so, to plug. Yeah. Um, um, but follow me. Yeah, I'm on it, Twitter and YouTube and Instagram and give them give them a shout them out. Chris give them Clemens, the just my name. Google, give it a Google. Give Don't a, go to the second page. Give it a bing. <laughs> yeah. Give it a bing a boom. Give, give it, it a Jeeves. Give it a. <laughs> give it a. MSN. No. I was trying. Yeah, MSN. No, was that it? Yeah. Right. I'm a millennial. Anyway, thanks yeah. for coming. We're young is um, what we're saying. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> That's it. Alta Vista. Pa- That's a, some Parks and Rec shit right there. <laughs> that was trying to do dial-up. Oh, I thought... I uh, really just mistook that as just another noise that you make. <laughs> I do make a lot of weird noises. We, Christine and I together make a lot of weird noises. Well, uh, let's end this podcast on a weird noise. Ready? Booby boop bop. Podcast shutting down. Initiate Three, self-destruct sequence. Three, two, two one. <laughs> oh, we oh farted. God. That's true love. Guys. All right, bye, guys. I'm a mess. Bye. Don't, 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 don't.